All right, guys. We're back. It's me and Asher. We're gonna go ahead and I got some food ready. I haven't fed them in a couple of days. And so, they are, they're hungry. So we've got quite a bit going on in the tank right now. Probably close to 100. What? You ready to go? You got your, huh? I put his hair. <laughs> All right, there you go. And he just, he just dumps it. Why are you being so tired of being a sneaky sister? I know, she's gonna be upset. We'll let her feed the fish later. Yeah, me. But they're chowing down on that. We're all shush. Ah, it snowed. That's a bummer. All right, guys, uh, as you can see behind me, we got a little bit of snow and it wasn't a major snowstorm. Uh, we got about maybe five or six inches, um, but the week before that was in the single digits. So a lot of the rivers have got chunks of ice in it or lakes are frozen over. So as you can see behind me, the boat is actually, it's got a lot of snow on it. Uh, we thought we would do a, a fun video for 2022 kind of going over some of our catches that we did in 2021 um, and also giving away the location of some of those catches so um, enjoy just hooked up with a major fish here been at this spot for about three minutes now this spot here is actually one of the most popular spots on the Kansas River whether you're in a boat or fishing off the bank uh, I've seen a lot of guys catch massive fish here at the uh, 435 dam uh, it's just it's just a very popular spot a lot of big blues a lot of big flatheads. Oh, yeah. this thing is a drum It had just rained a couple of days before we went out fishing and so the current was really strong uh, there's a lot of water coming over the dam uh, as you can see and as you can hear uh, and you can kind of tell how hard it is for him uh, to just get this fish uh, to come back upstream uh, fighting against that current first catch hopefully now this is actually the last dam um, to the Missouri River. So there's actually Missouri River fish can actually swim up into the Kansas up until this point. Um, otherwise the water has to be higher than the dam for the Missouri fish to actually uh, come onto the Kansas side any further. So a lot of big fish, a lot of big blues and flats in here. All right. All right. First catch. Five. Woo! Five minutes of being here. First five minutes. Oh yeah. We're looking at thirteen point thirteen point four. Thirteen point four. It's a good fish. Good one to start the day off with. It's nice. I'll take it. Hey! What do we have here? Now here you kind of get an idea of how much water is really coming over that wall right there. Um, one thing I will say is that if you are fishing this area or an area like this, don't get too close to that water. Um, I learned through trial, trial and error that the closer that you get, it can suck your boat in towards that with that undertow. And actually capsize your boat so be careful don't get too close fish oh look at that boy Not bad, oh man we've got a nice current right here all right nice there you go it's got some Battle scars on it. Nice. 
nice fish. Go. Uh, quit moving. Right at 14.44 pounds. Big belly. Good old beauty right there. <laughs> Yeah, lose the scale. <laughs> there you go. Right on. Yeah. yeah. Everybody has their go-to spots, and this is one of mine. Uh, funny thing is about this spot is that this is more of a live bluegill type spot. I don't usually catch shad here. Um, I just happened to get lucky this day. Um, I actually wanted shad, so it it all worked out. It's not too shabby for first cast. Ooh. Let's see if it is a gar. It's gonna come up to the surface right here. Yep, that's a gar. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Look at that! Flat you got head. a flatty. Hit that live perch. Hit that live perch. Nice. Mm -hmm. but, oh. Got good color to him. Woo! We got something on here. This guys, this is my first catch on this pull. I'm liking it. Feels good. Oh, that kind of took it down a little bit. I wish we got that on camera. Uh, I think I'm. That's fine. Crossing over. Yep. And yeah, guys, we had just started filming, so sorry for the darkness. Um, we didn't have our spotlights figured out or how we were going to light up our area yet. So uh, just bear with us here. Oh, yeah, I'm crossing over all your lines. That's fine. Go. Oh. All right, keep going. Oh, he's not done. Oh, nice flathead. Nice flathead. He's still got a fight in him. I don't want to pull him and break my line. This is one of the first spots we fished on the river and we love it. It's one of our favorite bank fishing spots. You'll see it in a lot of our videos. The one problem right. with this spot though is it is hard to land a big fish here because of the big drop off. So it does get a little bit crazy sometimes. Say cheese. I think he thinks I'm taking a picture right here. <laughs> yep. I like the color of these these guys tonight. Yeah. They're very nice. Looks like it's got a piece of it still. I believe we were using live bluegill on this night because it, it actually worked pretty good in this spot. There you go. Fish on. Oh, look at that. You got a little fight going. Yeah, little guy. This little guy actually did put up a pretty good fight. Come on up. Oh, it's going to the right. Oh, look at that. Oh, another flathead. Flatties are back. There we go. Uh, I still got my perch. Still right got here. the perch in there. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll take that, right? Under. No, we we want to be humble. 
we, we, we're a humble group of fishermen here. He's got is he, battle yeah, he's, scar. Yeah, a little, he ran into a log or two. Yeah, he but, looks good though. But we're gonna go ahead and let him go. Oh. Another big one. Now this fish just pounded his bait. I mean, his pole just bent over. It was a, it was a good bite. Woo. Oh my, it's been a good night. Doesn't feel as big as the other one, but. Look at that smoke coming in here. That took it down, man. That felt good. This feels... See, this is weird. He's coming right in, like in these swirls. Let's see if we can get some of that. Ooh, that's a nice. There we go. It's still pulling drag a little bit. Ain't that big, maybe. Yep. Ah, so there we go. Got about a 10 pound ish. Eight to ten. That's a... another one, man. These Omagatsu hooks or whatever they're called. Come here. Come on. All right, baby. Let's see what we got. Oh, right at. We're at eight point eight. Oh, a little bit big, a little bit bigger than the one I just got. Yeah, that's a that is a good fish. <laughs> Gave you a nice little fight. <laughs> uh, all right, let's let this beast go again. Uh, I don't know now. Little tiny one. No. No. Nothing. Nothing. Must have got away. Oh wait. Oh nope. <laughs> There's something on there, he's just swimming up with a current. Oh, okay. He's got a little fight to him. He's going down, eh? Here, let me come on here. Got a blue. Uh, oh, hey. you, got, you got a blue. A little blue, eh? There we go. What? Three pound, four pound? We barely got him too. Look at that. Barely on there. I just lifted that right out. Let's go on and start the night off with. What's funny? Yeah, it was all flathead last. Wait, two days ago at this spot. Now we got a blue. Might try some of that shed head. We heard somebody's drag just burning off in the distance. You got some? <laughs> Probably log. Let's get this log in, baby. Ooh, that's a fish. And it ain't small. Let me get the GoPro. You go get it. You go. I got this one. Nice. Oh. Alright, so this is going to be a big boy. I'm trying to pull in a log. Sorry about all the bugs, Joe. Man, I keep thinking it's a log and then barely moves. Okay, me excited. No, I'm not joking. This ain't fucking big. Ooh. Ooh.
Oh. Is he on our lines? I don't know. No, that's that's a stick. Never mind, you're good. You're on mine, though. How does this thing move so much without barely doing anything? Like, he's not fighting me. Can you bring... I can't... I, am I under or over? I don't, I don't want to snap this. Uh, uh, yeah, go under. Go on. He's down here, Matt. Matt, you might be able to get that, can you? The funny thing was that I had actually fallen in the river earlier that evening, and so I just, I didn't care anymore. I was gonna help Joe try and get this fish in no matter what, so I was gonna get dirty, it didn't matter. Oh boy. Dude. Oh, that's a good 40 plus. Dang it, he didn't tell me what. <laughs> I'm gonna try and bring him up. Ooh. Oh, that's a big one. That's the biggest freaking flatty one. Oh. Holy cow, Joe. Oh, freaking. Shit, don't. Go up under his gill. Oh my God! I'll grab Matt. Ready? Oh, <laughs> uh, oh my gosh! Get that up there. Right, Woo! Oh my gosh, that's a nice one, dude. I'm glad you heard that line run. Wow! I got a new PB. Shoot, Joe. Oh, that's nice. You want to take out? Dude, thank you. 40, uh, 47, 47, 5, 46, 5. 47, 5 sounds better. I'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> you hit it. <laughs> Dude. To be honest, this was probably one of my funnest uh, moments fishing that I can remember last year. Uh, just having two people. Uh, drag me while I'm holding a fish back into onto the bank. It was awesome. All right. <laughs> you want to get him back in there? Ooh. Nice, dude. He showed me a little lag into our thumb. I can tell if I was about to drop off. Or not. No, don't want to do that. I'll give you a goodbye splash. Well, I hope he's do doing well enough. He really wore himself out on that. Nice. That last one nice. blue. I'm gonna make it. All right, Joe. Awesome, man. Right, just the record. <laughs> that was involved. Got fish already, man. Been here for 15, 10 minutes. Now, this is one of the most popular spots to fish on the river in Lawrence or around Lawrence at Bowersock Dam. Now, we're actually on an like island good? Um, that we actually took a boat to get to, but we're right there at the dam. Uh oh, I see it. It's messing with your monster rod. Oh, nice, dude. Oh, we got a good blue right there. Oh, oh, oh. Let me go ahead and go. There you go. There we go. Sorry, You good? Yep. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I'm good. 
You mean help you get this in or you got it? No, I got it. Oh, go on it. I got it! I got, I got a fish! Once it gets underneath us. I think I got my Dude, look at that. No? Yeah. Oh! Oh, I thought he snapped it. Nice, dude. Get him up there. Come on. Oh, man, look at that. Yeah! Oh, wow. This was actually the first fish that I had caught on Bowersock Island. So I was I was stoked nice. to get one. It was He was 22 pounds, and uh, he bit, bit on a large nice. live bluegill. Uh, man, yeah, he's a... He's a feisty one right there. Yeah, we can maybe get a weight on him. I'll put him on shore here for a minute. Let, let us both relax. I apologize again for the angle. I know it's hard to see me in some spots um, with this angle. I'm working on getting and figuring out a different place to mount my camera on my boat. But um, this is one of my favorite spots and I think it was my favorite spot last year. Um, it is in Edwardsville, um, not too far from the boat ramp um, at the mouth of Mill Creek. Uh, there's about a 20 foot hole a little ways out and uh, I just I had a lot of success with it um, this last year in 2021, so um, I have no complaints there. Awesome, awesome spot. Trying to go underneath the boat. Good looking, good looking flathead. I might actually get a weight on this guy. Oh yeah. Thirteen and a half pounds. I can't really explain the feeling you get when you're on your boat not really paying attention too much to your poles or doing something else um, and then all of a sudden you just you hear that that clicker go off and then you just look over and see that pole bending like that I just that's crazy I love it Oh, wow. He's heavy. Man, this fish did not okay. want to get in the boat. <laughs> um, this flathead, I didn't know what size it was going to be. It was fighting like it was a 70, 80 pounder. It did not want to get in the boat. And uh, as you see, he was, he was taking me all over the place. I'm glad he didn't get caught in the motor. Um, but. Uh, those those tangling with catfish rods i need i need to do a review on those because those things handle amazing um they're they're perfect um so you know this fish did not want to get in the oh, boat wow. that's all that's all i can say <laughs> Oh, 
Wow. Wow. <laughs> So with uh, this fish, it's kind of a funny story because um, the bite had kind of slowed down and I went ahead and, and laid my head down and laid, laid down on the boat and I, I passed out. I was asleep. It became like four o'clock in the morning and I remember waking up, I think dreaming about drag just burning and I, I woke up to it and I'm, I'm a hard person to wake up. And so I woke up, it was freezing, four o'clock in the morning, and the drag was burning. So when I cut in on this video, I was just completely passed out like two seconds before. So this this fish actually woke me up and then he was burning drag to wake me up and then he kind of stopped. So I don't know how long he was actually pulling on on, on my, my strings up. I'm not sure how long he was actually there before he woke me up, or, you know, but, you know, he's an awesome fish. Yeah. Woo. All right, guys. Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. Such a cool looking fish, for real. That's a good sized fish right there. <laughs> I was almost asleep. Oh, that's a good one. You know, it's, it's hard to tell how big it is with this new rod because uh, this has a good pull on it. I'm going over my line. Going up, up, upstream. When you get in the mess. Oh. Come on out, boy. Just taking my. I'll I'm gonna set this, I'm gonna have the clicker on just so you can hear the drag coming out. I wonder if I can fight him over here towards the bank where the, we can actually get him up. Yeah. If you want, I can start moving some of these poles. I think there's a better chance right here. Oh, shoot. You're fine. This is a big fish. <clears throat> Look at him go, man. He's going to the right or left. Going upstream. Up Feels good. Getting closer where we can get him. 
Yeah, it, it's a huge drop off there back right, right here. We here we start to get some bank in here. It's a little bit slippery, isn't it? Oh yeah. Don't run. I'm gonna keep him. He's not done yet. I'm just gonna tire him out until he gets here. Careful down there. No, you don't. <sighs> oh. Oh. oh wow. Nice. Look at this. Look at this guy. He took it down. All right, let's get over here and get some get a weight on him. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. He might have had, he might have done got himself a fish. I don't know. I mean, that pole is bent. Feel it? No, something's still. Coming in. Go to the right. Oh. Yep. Oh, whoa, that's not a gar. That might, that might be a flatty. Whoa. <laughs> and he got his fish still. Oh. Okay. Don't let it pop the line. <laughs> you got me in the face. It's a flatty. Good. Yeah, buddy. Nice. It's kind of meaty there. What do you think? 17? 19? Uh, probably not that much. We're going to give him a, get a weight on him though. That's awesome. Dude. Look at that. <laughs> look at my way. My face is all wet. He's splashing <laughs> He's me. splashing you in the face. He's splashing me good, man. All right, we're here. We're I'm staying. All, I'm all slimy. Oh, no. Oh, no. The so, slime is back. Dude, oh, that is awesome. Oh, oh. No! I caught it. We don't know. <laughs> he felt like it was about 45 pounds. <laughs> oh. oh. All right, guys. Catfish KC. Catfish KC. We are out. We are out. We're